Redevelopment projects are constantly springing up all over Knoxville and a spot with a lot of potential is just below your feet on Gay Street. Leslie Ackerson takes us there. Most East Tennesseans are familiar with Gay Street in downtown Knoxville. The restaurants, the shops, but did you know that under the street there's a hidden space with history that dates back more than a century? It's peculiar, and I didn't know any of this. And the man with the magical keys underground is David Dewhurst, a well-known Knoxville developer. The discovery came with his very first building purchase on Gay Street. Uh, I was in the basement of that building uh, right at the time I bought it, and there was a set of doors down there that were boarded up, and I uh, one day broke through those doors and landed in this, this uh, cavern out underneath the sidewalk, and it was full of 100 years' worth of... <laughs> They're pretty magical uh, trash and debris, but it was certainly fun to pick through. These treasures led to a deep dive into history. In the 1900s, Gay Street was a commercial hub with connections to the Southern Railway and Tennessee River, but it was a steep trek on Summit Hill. They wanted to devise a way to make it easier on horses and carts to transport it up that hill and smooth it out. So the city came up with a plan to raise the level of Gay Street at the 100 block. Uh, up a full story to smooth out the road between the rambling viaduct over the railroad tracks and the top of Summit Hill Drive. Since buildings already line the street, raising the road meant burying them below. And while a century has ticked by, a trip beneath the surface still gives a glimpse of the 1900s. These were old storefronts. You could still see some of the fluted spaces. So the actual front door of the Emporium building was right down here. Marbled columns and glass sidewalks bring a magical feel. It's kind of in the evening, light spills down here a little bit. Dewhurst has renovated some of the old space into residences and offices. There's still potential for more development. A lot of that history has uh, vanished in the 100 plus years, but there's still some pretty interesting cavities uh, underground here that with the right continued restoration of those areas could be quite unique. Like this 10,000 square foot cavern. When we get the development going along Jackson Avenue, there's a real opportunity to open that up and integrate it and make it, make it a pretty unique public space. Think of it as a uh, covered urban patio. A growing number of people under, understand what it was like back then. They've seen a lot of the pictures. Um, they get a sense of what those, what's, what those spaces not only can be like today, but really what they can be like in about 10 years from now. A story just beneath your feet worth preserving. In Knoxville, Leslie Apperson, 